Hi, this is a video um, on Gantech.com, how to set up your Google Drive. Remember, you're not required to have a flash drive in this course. You're actually um, told to use your Google Drive. When you sign into the class page, you can see your name, you see your email, your portfolio, and Drive. I want you to save all your work on your Google Drive. Our classroom, sometimes computers can go down. Um, they might erase the entire um, desktop and you would lose all your work if you saved them to your flash drive or the computer. Students lose flash drives all the time. So in this class, throughout the year, I want you to save everything to your Google Drive. So here's how you're going to set it up. You can see Drive there. Once you're logged in, I can go ahead and open up my new drive. I have an example folder um, already set up where it says 2016-2017 classes. This is what we're trying to build. You can see I have App Design 1, Digital Media, Global Design, Double trade. We want to create a folder that we're always going to upload our stuff. So simply going to go to file, I'm going to call it your folder. I'm going to call it my classes. And I'll do it backwards 2016, 17. So I would suggest not just for my class, for Gantech, um, that you're doing, I would suggest doing this for all of your classes English, math, science. Um, that way, no matter what, you'll always have your work for the school year. So I'm going to go inside of there. Go ahead. Let's just do a couple. English one, right? Make another folder. Science, or let's say biology. Yada, yada, yada. But for our class, put the name of your, your class. So you might have me for app and game design one. Or you could have me for digital media one. Or you might have me for AP computer science. But I would suggest whatever the amount of classes, if you have eight classes, you should have eight periods here. But let's focus on our class. So let's say it's app design one. Inside of there, we want to stay organized. So we're going to create a first grading term folder. Push create. Second grading term folder. A third grading term folder. And then a fourth grading term folder. So that's my app design one. Uh, I also want to go into my AP Computer Science, do the exact same thing. First grading term folder. Second grading term folder new folder, third grading term folder, and a fourth grading term folder. Let's do one more. Let's go back. My classes. Digital Media 1, which is Photoshop. Oh, we want first grading term. We got second grading term. We got third grading term. We got fourth grading term. So I have all my folders in there. So I have the folders on my drive, but obviously I still need to be organized on the computer that I'm using. So I'm going to show you my desktop. On my desktop, I have a folder called Digital Media One. And this is the first assignment that we all did in class where we created a flags, a bunch of different flags. Um, using the skills we did. We did all these flags, which was the first assignment. And I saved it on my computer and Digital Media 1. But just like I have it on the drive, I want to do the first grading term here. I'm going to put all this inside of my first grading term. I'm going to have... Uh, second grading term, third grading term, and fourth grading term. So inside of my first grading term, it's actually the first assignment that we did, um, which I showed you. It has some of the flags that we did. This is how I turned it in on the class page. And then these are the, for the portfolio requirements, 
how I turned in, but all of them are here on my on my computer. But what happens if my computer gets erased? Or I saved it on my flash drive. I want to put all this here on my Google Drive. That way it's saved. So I can do file, do it two ways. File, upload, then I would simply go to this, click on the first one, hold shift, select the last one, and then I can do open and it would upload all of these. So I can show you, I click open. It's gonna upload all these guys. So all my stuff now is stored inside my first grading term. That way, if my computer gets erased, if I'm not using the same computer in the lab, I have access to all of my files as well. So there's another way. If you don't do file upload, um, let's just delete all these, right? So I'm inside of my first grading term folder. If I have this open, I can come here and simply drag it directly like this. And it's the same thing. It'll upload all these. So make sure using this throughout the year, you're going to first create your My Classes, make the class folder for our class, example, Digital Media 1, make your grading terms. And that's it for your Google Drive. I, again, I suggest you make folders for your other classes as well. Save everything, everything, everything. You're going to save it on the computer in the class, but then when you're done before the bell rings, I want you to upload whatever you're currently working on to your Google Drive. That way you don't lose it and you'll have access to it for the following class and actually for forever because it's saved to your Google Drive.